Welcome back, you dingoes, and welcome to the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. You heard us right, we're headed to a bowl game to take on Buffalo. Yeah, I know, very exciting, but we got a chance to have our first double-digit victory season in school history. Now's a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped. But we'll hear more from them at halftime. Oh my, their average attendance is only like 8,000. That's worse than ours. We average like 18,000. Their best players are three defensive tackles. Oh, I mean, we we never run the ball, but we're not running the ball twice as much. Oh, who's excited? The famous Idaho Potato Bowl. And yes, it's at Boise State Stadium, so we get the blue field twice in the same season. That is a big old puffy coat for our coordinator. We have the best passing offense in the country, a All-American freshman quarterback in Kevin Davidson. And of course, we just came off a loss in the Mountain West Conference Championship. We can put that behind us because we have a chance at a 10-win season right here, lads. Let's not screw it up. Let's make Dingo Nation proud. This is the stadium where Kevin Davidson threw for almost 600 yards earlier in the year. Let's see if he can do it again. Whoa, diving swat on the first play for Seth Burton. Lower the shoulder on him, okay. There you go, Richard Pizer. He's going short and we got that one covered up. Always hitting Chris McAvoy. That's a new school record for 83 receptions in a season. I don't even know he was up for it. The Boise State Blue Field must be lucky for us because the, the amount of records we've broken on this field has been insane. Across the middle again. It's just going to be the Chris McAvoy show. He's already got like 30-something yards. I got to run for this one. I don't see anybody. But they're not going for Kevin Davidson. This is going to be a big run. Sweet. We're just going to have some fun in this game. I want to get ahead early so we can just mess around. Go, Martinez. Dean Young's toying with him. Jared Miller's wide open. You guys don't know how to cover us, do you? Dominating this game early. Dingo's up 7-0. Oof, I scrubbed that one up. Harris got to get off the block. Otherwise, he's going to score. Marcus Cush is so fast. Thankfully, you were able to catch up to him. He's got to be tired. He's going to fumble it soon if they keep going hurry up. Got him on the option. Their quarterback doesn't seem too good. His name is Tom Thomas. That is just downright goofy. And we get to him. Brian McBride off the edge. Ninth sack of the season for the true freshman. You never know how bad their kicker is, so always got to leave out a returner just for the memes. Ooh, we almost got in there and blocked it. Just enough leg to get in there. Seven to three. Like, he has a very weak leg. This is going to be returned. Go. Come on. Ooh, couldn't tap on the sidelines, but pass midfield. Hmm. Do I go short? Oh, we got it. That's so OP. Can we hit it to cut back on him? Rolled the dice. That was either going to be a pick or a huge play, and it worked out in our favor. Get that, Herzner. Big boy him. One yard away from it. Hand off to Martinez, and he's actually stuffed. Chris McAvoy's got it, but he actually stepped out of the end zone. Running back, oh no. I had him, I just took forever to make the read. Running back, he's short of it, one yard. Just focused in on him this time, and that was a mistake. Right up the gut, he's actually gonna lose a yard. Come on, let me get the safety. Right back at it, he's actually going to the outside, that's not good. Marcus Cush had to tackle him. The slant. We're going to get the sack. Nice job, Brian McBride. Whoa, they tried to run it on third and 23. That's a mistake. Get that stop and go. Burning the safety. Always a surprise with John Evans. He makes it look easy. Forgot about Herzner. Oh, I should have thrown it to somebody. 
Punch it in, Matt Jesse. Still perfect on the year. We got a touchdown lead again. Ryan McBride again. That is another fourth down. He's having a monster game. Oh man, I threw that straight at that linebacker. That was pretty bad. All good, Kevin Davidson. We still got the lead. Sending the house a lot and it's working. Tom Thomas can't do anything. I just got to get through it. Or we're just going to sack him. Austin Moore in his final game for the Dingoes. Pitch that now. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, no. Too far to the right. We're going to have to punt it back to him. Dude, this quarterback is terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Avery Harris. Thank you. They didn't leave anybody back to block. That's going to be a loss of nine. Oh, I missed. But that's a good tackle. Nice play on the ball, Marcus Cush. Well, there's certainly no way this guy's going to make this. We know he has a very weak leg. So, we're going to send people back to block. Oh, wait, they're faking it. And they complete it. Oh, my. I was not ready for that. The dang CPU pulled a fast one on me. Wait a minute. They're going in the hurry up out of the kick formation. Is this their kicker at what? Their kicker is running it. What the? What is happening? Dustin Jackson, is that their kicker out here at quarterback? Are they staying in the hurry up? I'm being bamboozled right now. No way. Okay, we lowered the shoulder on him. First and goal. He's got nobody. So they're probably going to take this field goal. All that just to get up there and have this guy kick it. Makes that field goal, and so it's six to ten. That was an interesting turn of events there. Well, that's a great cut. Oh my gosh. As time expires, can he go? Adrian Felix has nobody in front of him. A buzzer beater touchdown before halftime. Make it 17 to six. Second one on the year for him. That's two years in a row with multiple kick returns for touchdowns. That'll make your coach happy. Hell yeah. Now that it's halftime, let's hear from our sponsor, Manscaped. Gentlemen, we are living in the future, and the proof is Manscaped's new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. Yes, you heard me right. Your favorite ball trimmer brand, Manscaped, has a new groin groomer in the Lawnmower 3.0, and it's amazing. Featuring an ergonomic design, anti tug guard, and advanced skin safe technology. You're not going to have any nicks or snags on your manhood when you use this, guaranteed. Mowing at not six, but 7,000 RPMs with quiet stroke technology, so you don't have to turn on a million noisemakers to disguise your manscaping. The Lawnmower 3.0 is wireless with a premium lithium-ion battery and a charging dock. This baby can mow for 90 minutes straight and is waterproof, so you can use it in the shower if you desire. Manscaped even added an LED light that illuminates grooming areas for closer, more precise trimming. You can get all of this and more in the perfect package 3.0. It's perfect for your package. Get 20% off and free shipping plus two free gifts when you purchase the new Perfect Package 3.0 kit with my code EXPERT20 at manscaped.com. Once again, that's 20% off and free shipping plus two free gifts when you use my code EXPERT20 at checkout. Manscaped.com, refining the gentleman. One-on-one -on -one coverage, you know what the drill is. Spin move on him. This guy's gonna get toasted. This guy's gonna get toasted! Keep going, John. Not enough left in the tank, but that's a new school record for receiving yards in a season. Incredible season for him. What the? <laughs> we weren't on the same page there. Oh, yeah, we're going to the flats. Whoa, shifty from Kenneth Hernandez. He gets into the end zone. That was a beautiful play. He's only a freshman, but he looks promising. We got to get him the ball more. No fear was shown on that play. Just ran straight at the defenders. Oh, that would have been a pick six. That's for Marcus Cush. Oh, I thought he was going to break that. Forced 20 turnovers in a season. This is just an XP fest. An XP palooza. 
That's Herzner all day. Oh, <laughs> Try to hit him with a step back. Can I float it over the top of him? What a catch. Quickly over to Evans. Oh. Oh, we got McAvoy. That's his 10th touchdown reception of the season. Best tight end in the country. Oh, man, the fans are getting lit. I like that beanie, too. Another sack. Is that two or three on the game? He's got two sacks on the game, four tackles for loss. This is just a small taste of what Brian McBride's going to do here at DVSU for a long time. I probably hit him with the pass interference, but okay, that's fine too. They're doing another screen pass. Oh, I got blocked right on the ball. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! I call BS! And we're still not tackling him. What the heck? I know we have a huge lead in the game, but that is triggering. And he's going to get it on the next play. The game's really hitting that comeback code hard. Well, that's going to be picked. Yeah, at least Chris Chavitz was there to tackle him. Essentially a punt. I should have known better. Just a long heave for the memes. With Dean Young, that's not usually a good idea. Oh, no, that's a great keeper. He's just kind of sitting there, though. He didn't know what to do. He's got nothing. Again, Marcus Cush. That was so acrobatic. Can he return it? Not quite. That was a very nice interception, though. Second one of the game. Why do you keep testing him? Hit Matt Morrow. He doesn't have the best hands, but he caught that one. <laughs> Come on, guys. You got a block. Is it going? I love that place so much. No sweat about it. He got it. Perfect record on the year for him. We got him again. Cody Spicer gets a pick too. This guy falls over. This could be a pick six. Gun it. Cut back. Dang it. Maybe I should have committed to the run straight. Still an awesome pick for a young player. We all know this play. Gets it away. Spin move. Another spin move. Triple spin move. All that just for two yards. Oh, that didn't work either. We got Herzner. Oh, and he drops it in the end zone. You're lucky this game is well in hand right now. Otherwise, I'd be pissed. <laughs> they just clobbered him right as he caught that. Oh, Marcus Frisk could have had it. Second drop pick of the game for him. Oh my God, Chris Davis, can he do the impossible? We were just memeing it, no, last guy got him. I let that bounce just for the fun of it, but that might be the strat. Oh no, Matthew Paul was headed towards the end zone. Oh, send that, Matthew Paul. What a snack, what the heck? This dude drops wide open passes and makes spectacular catches like that. Who juiced this man up? Well, that's just an awesome garbage time touchdown. Another sack. That's Damatamo. Oh, what the heck? I got hit as I threw that. Derek Brabham diving at him. That's just goofy. This is going to be an extra touchdown for them. So needless. We should have just kneeled it. The question is, will this field goal block stop them on the goal line? Oh, he's going to the flats like a bum. And there it is. Death Valley State Dingoes get their first bowl game victory in school history. Play of the game is the kick return from Adrian Felix. It was an awesome one. Such a roller coaster of emotions through this season. We had the highest of highs and some of the lowest of lows. Beating two top 10 teams this season and then losing to some pretty bad teams. Losing the Mountain West Conference Championship, but we finish it off on a high note. Kevin Davidson, you are a legend. Led us to victory today. 
with a bowl game victory here in the Potato Bowl. Well, I don't think we got a trophy presentation, but we do get Kevin Davidson on top of the bleachers celebrating, and that's good enough for me. What a victory for the Dingoes. We pulled ahead early and really never looked back. I don't think there was any pressure on us which I'm fine with because we needed a big win like that to end off the year. Lift up our spirits, get us excited for next season. Stats on the game, look at all the people who threw a pass in this game. Kevin Davidson first off, 257 passing yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Christian Herzner threw a pass, Derek Brabham, Dean Young, Chris Davis, JT Martinez. We're having a lot of fun out here. We didn't really run it that much, but of course we never do. What am I talking about? Receiving today, John Evans, of course, at the top of the list. Four catches, 121 receiving yards. Herzner at number two, four catches, 56 yards. Matthew Paul, two catches, including one insane one for a touchdown. McAvoy got a touchdown. I think that's his 10th on the year. And J.R. Miller got one. That was his final game with the Dingoes. I know it's going to hit you hard right now. Pretty sad. He was a good player. But we'll get more to that in the offseason. And Kenneth Hernandez, the fullback, got a receiving touchdown. Let's shout out them big boys up front. Timbo Slice came in the game, got himself a pancake. Martinez got a pancake. Barnes let up a sack, and so did Alonzo Jenkins. But, yeah, we can look past it. Carry Spell led us in tackles as he does a lot. Seven in this game, three for loss, two sacks. We had eight total sacks in this game? That is insane as a team. We also had three interceptions on the game. Marcus Cush was looking like a beast out there. He had two in this game. Matt Jesse made both of his field goals, including a long of 46. Three kick returns for Adrian Felix on this game, including a long of 99 that he took back to the house. And dang it, Chris Davis almost had a punt return for a touchdown in this game too. That would have been amazing. But sadly, we couldn't get it done. Team stats today. Look how, to, how abysmal our rushing yards are. Pretty typical for my play style with this team. Aha, uh -huh, that's what it looks like. I didn't get to see it in game, but there it is. The famous Idaho Potato Bowl trophy. Hey, potato is a very versatile food. We're going to be able to use it and survive out here in the desert. So we're excited about that. Everybody's got potatoes for life. Death Valley State caps off successful season with bowl win. That really makes me satisfied, actually. We finished the year with 10 victories. I mean, look at the development over the years. Two in 10 before they hired me. I went 3-9 my first season with all walk-ons. Then we went 7-6, and, and this year 10-4 and four after making the Mountain West Conference Championship. That'll make the coach and fans proud. Hey, look at that too. We actually finished the year with a positive career record, 20-19. and 19. Can't be mad about that. So many broken records this year, it's honestly surprising to me. John Evans, this is what happens when we have him for a full season. 1,278 receiving yards. And how about Chris McAvoy getting a record in his own right? 86 catches for the team. Three more than the previous record. Kevin Davidson, first year on campus. 33 passing touchdowns. That is amazing. He also had 4,093 yards. That is insane, and he still has a lot of years to develop. And he did officially end with the most passing yards in the country this season. I wonder if we can keep that going through his whole career because we were pretty much a one-dimensional team this year because we had to be. It worked very well, but I'm sure we're going to run the ball more once we get that better O-line next year and be a little bit more balanced so he doesn't have to do it all himself. Like our leading rusher had 230 yards, finishing 347 on the rushing leaders. Embarrassing. Receiving leaders though, John Evans finished fourth. Tackle leaders, Carey Spell finished with 84 to top off the list. Cameron Tipton finished with 58. Sack leaders, Brian McBride, just out of the top five at number seven with 10 sacks. Marcus Cush, five picks on the year. I didn't realize he had so many. That's 15th best in the country. But let's take a closer look at the stats for everybody. Kevin Davidson, 4,093 yards, 33 touchdowns to 17 picks. So that is a lot of picks for sure. But I mean, like, he was the only one ever playing quarterback. I think I had more interceptions last year between Derek Brabham and Dean Young. I've seen worse. And he's, he's a true freshman, so he'll get better. Rushing. Oh, it's embarrassing. It is really embarrassing. JT Martinez led us with 230 rushing yards. Let's see, the, the highest average was Matt Morrow, but we're not counting that. Dean Young had the highest average at 4.6 yards per carry. While Kevin Davidson led us in rushing touchdowns too. Our quarterback and receiver had more than our running backs. Receiving leaders, it's all John Evans and Chris McAvoy. Like, who's shocked? 1,200 receiving yards for John Evans, and he also had eight touchdowns. McAvoy, 1,065 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns. I mean, still good performances from other people too. J.R. Miller, when we needed him, he was great. 500 
181 yards, five touchdowns. Herzner improved a little bit, not in the touchdown mark, but he didn't have to play as much for us, but when he was in there, he was good. Joseph Davis was nice too. Matthew Paul got three touchdowns on the year. The pancake leaders this year, Chris McAvoy over all of my offensive linemen. What the heck is up with our team? Carry Spell exploded this season. 87 tackles, 22 for loss, including seven sacks, an interception. that he, he had a forced fumble too. I mean, he just did everything. I can't wait to have him next year. He led us in tackles for loss. Cameron Tipton close behind at that new middle linebacker position. Brian McBride had 17, including double digit sacks this season. He is going to be a special player for a long time. Marcus Cush, five picks. Marcus Frisk, four picks. Seth Burton, three. A lot of production on the defensive backs this year. I was proud of them. Four forced fumbles, Brian McBride, Kerry Spell, Cody Spicer, and Logan Pogue. We had four touchdowns as a team this year on defense. Marcus Frisk had two of them. Kerry Spell had one, and Seth Burton had one. Big huzzah to Matt Jesse. He helped us win a lot of games. You might not realize it, but I mean, last year with Blaze Bortles, and Justin Powell, we were severely limited in kicking. And he changed the whole ball game for us. He made every single field goal we attempted, 18 of 18, including a long of 52. He was a pretty good punter too. Average of 43.4 per punt, four down inside the 20, he only had one touchback and a long of 62. Two kick returns again for Adrian Felix. He's a very good returner, and we're just gonna have him for two more years. I wonder how many he's gonna get by his senior season. No punt returns this season. I thought Chris Davis was gonna get one for a second, but we missed it. And just a minor peek at the player career stats. Kevin Davidson almost has double the amount of Derek Brown or Dean Young had in their first seasons, and way more than JT Martinez ever had. But as you can tell, he had less interceptions than both of them combined last year. Still need to lower that number, 17 is quite a bit, but hey, 33 touchdowns ain't too shabby. Here's the bowl results. Utah State beat Missouri, that's good for the conference. Fresno State won, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Colorado State lost to UCLA. Man, they just dominate the Las Vegas Bowl. They just love that mediocrity, don't they? Dang it, Usula! Air Force beats Florida Atlantic. Thumbs up from me. USC over Kansas, that's a joke football game. San Jose State beat a ranked Pittsburgh team. Man, that San Jose State team is sneaky. That dang triple option will get you. Virginia over Rutgers by a large margin. UNLV beats UTSA. Only one team from our conference has lost so far, and it wasn't us this year, so that makes me happy. Florida over Nebraska in the Capital One Bowl. Wisconsin over Washington. Kentucky got slaughtered by Ohio State. Wow, UGF beat Notre Dame. Good for them. Another Orange Bowl victory for the Pandas. I think Auburn won their second national championship in a row, defeating North Carolina. Look at that XP though, won the Thorpe, won the Mackey Bowl game, 4,000 yards a season, all that good stuff. And that's where I'll leave you off in this episode, heading on into the off season of season three. We're gonna be dangerous next year, everybody knows it. Coming for that Mountain West Conference Championship. We set out to win 10 games this season, and we accomplished that. We set out to win the Mountain West Conference, we failed at that. But it's all good. As long as I see that exponential growth, it makes me happy. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next season, and I hope you guys enjoyed Season 3. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, Big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in the offseason. Peace!